Greetings, I'm Kevin Wallin. Long story short, the time my girlfriend's father caught me in her bed. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so here's the deal. I had this girlfriend that lived downtown. This is in Canada, by the way. So this is, um, and this girl is a white girl. And so she lived downtown Toronto and I lived in Brampton. So it's a good distance away. I had reasons to be in, in uh, in, in downtown Toronto and so after my event ended I called her up and I said well you know I'm downtown you know you want to hang out or whatever the case is she couldn't because she had to go to work in the morning but she felt it was a good idea if I came over and just stayed over and then she would get up in the morning go to work and then she would be off by noon and then we could just get together and just spend the day downtown together you know I thought it was a good idea as well so I asked her I said look so tell me tell me something doesn't your dad normally come over in the mornings to see and stuff like that? And she said, yeah, well, you know, he will come over, but he normally calls first, and so I'll just let him know that I'm gonna be at work and stuff. And I said, are you sure about this? And she said, yeah, 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 I'm sure about this. And I said, are you positively sure about this? She said, yeah, 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 I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. And so she convinced me and I went over there. And so, of course, I was, um, we were in bed, I was in bed, she got up and she went to work in the morning. I'm laying in bed, um, I'm butt naked at this point. I'm hearing the little rattling at the door and I'm just like, oh my God. Then I hear the voice saying, hey, and start whispering the nickname that he has for her and stuff like that and I'm just like, oh my God. This is on the eighth floor of, of this apartment and I have no idea what I'm gonna do now. And so I decided that I'm gonna pile all the comforters on me. So I lay in the car out of bed because it was in the winter. So I had a whole heap of, there was a whole heap of comforters and pillows and stuff on the bed. So I lay way in the corner of the bed and pile up these comforters on me. And the guy came over me and he's like rubbing me down and he's rubbing my shoulder. He doesn't know who's under the thing and he's whispering and hey, you know, this is cute little taps that you would give to your kid kind of vibration. And, um, and then he pulled the covers off my head. And then I looked up and I saw his eyes and he saw my eyes and we both, I mean, the color just drained completely out of him. He was so shocked to see me and he, went, ah! and he jumped up and he went into the other room and he paced in the other room for a little while and then he came back and he said, where's, and he asked me for her and I said, she's at work and he comes back in the room and he said, grab your stuff and get out and then he walks out of the house and um, I often think about that moment. I mean, we didn't break up there. We actually went out and then he and I actually became really, really good friends. And I had a few events and he came to my events and he even came to, um, to Jamaica, you know, at, um, at some point. So we became really good friends afterwards, but my goodness, I thought about all the different ways that that thing could have gone. But um, yeah, it was one of those things that just kind of drove. Anyhow, long story short, Make sure you know where you're deaf before you sleep over. Blessings.